Guys, welcome back to the channel guys we found some awesome awesome stuff last night as you guys can see already we found some freaking ralph lauren polo jackets there is a small little caveat to that um small little defect on them Hopefully we can work through them. I'll get to that in just a second. But really fast, I will be announcing the giveaway uh, for the subscriber giveaway at the end of this episode. Make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end. I will be jumping on the computers uh, really, really fast and just picking somebody. I'll make sure I share that with you all. So anyway, that's pretty much it. If you guys are new to the channel, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and join the Dumpster Squad, guys. And let's go ahead and jump into this episode. So we'll start right over here, guys. So we did find this is like a roll around little 
I don't even know, like a roll around cart kind of deal. It has wheels on it, but you can just, has three tier shelves. But the only problem with it is the wheel, I don't know if you can tell, is bent in. I just haven't had a moment in time. All I have to do is just grab like a pair of pliers or something and bend it back in. It's, I mean, it's not going to fall off or anything. It's perfectly fine. I already looked at it, but um, that is pretty much it. There's absolutely nothing else wrong with it. Just the wheel is just like kind of crooked and bent in. I just got to bend it back and that is pretty much going to fix it. Hopefully. I mean, obviously I haven't messed with it yet, but it seems like it's going to be a definitely a really easy fix. It still has the bubble wrap around the handles. So anyway, oh, really quick. We do have a mixture of a bunch of different dumpsters here. Um, I'll go through that as uh, we keep moving forward. This is is from the same dumpster where the episode we had last night we went back there as you guys can tell that's where we found the jackets at we found this in there and um i believe that's probably yeah i think that's actually it so actually there might be a couple things inside of that bin as well i say with these jackets guys um first of all freaking amazing ralph lauren i like when i saw that in the dumpster i about freaked out but anyway they're um First of all, the price is actually really decent for what they are. They're only 40 bucks, but they were compared to 175 flipping dollars. But as you can see, these sensors are still left on them. I don't know why they do that. Everything that I found so far in this dumpster, besides the shoes, have had sensors of some kind. At least like, if it was inside of a box, there was like one, not like this size, but there was like one of those little sensors on the box, which is not a huge deal. But um, usually the clothes have them on there as well. But anyway... Uh, I'm trying to get to the point here. Here is the front of the jacket. Like I said, there is a small little defect. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up very well. It's not very much. Uh, I guess so. But anyway, here's the front of the jacket. So what happened was, I guess this is why they threw them out. They printed the the um, Ralph Lauren kind of tag on the back of the jacket. At first, I would thought it was supposed to be like that. But it even has the size label so i'm assuming that's why they threw them out other than that there's seriously nothing else wrong with them so these are really really nice and that's pretty much it they're all the same thing they all have like the labels printed on the back of them and they obviously they all have the uh, sensor tags but that is not a huge deal but anyway they were 175 dollars they're only 40 bucks which actually is a pretty decent deal so um i think we're just gonna what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna keep that there and, I mean, I guess it, it looks okay, but we're just going to have to remove this so it doesn't look completely obvious. That's like a misprint. But regardless, guys, freaking amazing find. Ralph Lauren freaking jackets inside of the dumpster. That is absolutely insane. Moving on, guys. We actually found a picture. If you guys follow my channel and you know who Murphy is, we were like about freaked out about this too, guys. This was at the that dumpster right there, as you guys can see. It was $12.99. This is a nice little picture of a Yorkie absolutely adorable and there is seriously nothing wrong with it so as you guys could probably assume why we were excited about this because you know we have a yorkie and he is definitely very very cute and that is pretty much it there's nothing else to that it's definitely a really cute picture and um so we just took it but um anyway i believe that is all we found at that store and so moving on over here we have a awesome awesome flipping looking lantern and there is seriously nothing wrong with it at all. If you guys noticed in the clip, I just pulled it right out of the box of the styrofoam. And there is seriously nothing wrong with it. So that is... Actually, there really is no brand. I don't know if that's a brand or not. It's definitely a super, super nice lantern. I mean, it's nothing crazy, no crazy design. But there's nothing wrong with it at all. So actually, it looks like a piece of glass just kind of fell out. But I'm not really... It could be just maybe from the dumpster. Because I don't see anything broken at all. Mm, not really sure about that. I'm going to have to be careful and pick that back up and make sure I throw that in the trash. I'm sure this is probably from something else out of the dumpster. Not really sure. But regardless, a really nice lantern. And there's seriously absolutely nothing wrong with it. So moving on. These freaking candles are seriously the best candles I've ever smelled in my entire flipping life. These smell like straight up pineapples. Like if you were just cutting into a pineapple, you could walk all the way across the room over there. And you could smell these when they're not even burnt. So um, obviously they're broken. We took all the glass out of them as you can see. Um, you can notice that obviously. But um, I can't remember what the brand was. I couldn't really make it out to begin with. 
but um, I thought I had it on the tip of my tongue, but I completely forget. But um, you guys probably know, hopefully, but I don't know. I just don't remember the brand. They legit just smell like straight up pineapples. They smell super, super good. Probably the best, strongest smelling candle I've ever smelled in my entire life. But we did find three of them, and then unfortunately they were all broken. But we're just going to put this on a plate, and we'll make sure we clean up all the glass off of them. And then we can just burn them that way. So I'm sure they're not cheap, and I'm really excited to use these because I have never smelled something that amazing in my entire flipping life and then and i think that is it this is from the bed and bath store and yeah i believe that is me yeah that is probably pretty much it from that store so then we also found a gigantic flipping bag of um 100 whole wheat flour this is from the uh, another like a little bit of everything store and there's nothing wrong with it at all you guys can see the tag. You could probably guess where that's from just from that tag. And it is not expired. It is still good until September of this year. So this is something I'll definitely be donating. It's not, It's never even been open or nothing. So it's perfectly fine. I'm not really sure why they threw it out. Maybe it's just like discontinued item. Not really sure about that. But um, I believe we have... The, these two things, these actually, no, hold on, these two things, this lantern and this is from the same exact store, believe it or not, but they're two different stores in um, two different areas. Same store, but two different dumpsters, which is super awesome. And this little box right here, these two little things you see right here, these were actually inside of... Um, kind of i'm not really sure exactly what it was because it was kind of crumbled up but it looked like it was a big like uh maybe a centerpiece for a table but the bottom of it was completely shattered so nicole went ahead and took these pieces because she liked them and she can do like some kind of diy or whatever with them and then this might be a mixture of a couple different things but for the most part this whole bucket right here is all from the five dollar and understore and actually i think these uh are these from? These are actually from Ulta. Hold on. Oh, they are. I completely, completely forgot that we found these. So that is an Anastasia. These are all testers, as you can see. Uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Or is that what it says? Yeah, I think that's what it says. Tester, it is missing one. Completely forgot that we found this. And then here's another one. Same exact thing. It's missing the same one. Uh, there's actually nothing wrong with these. I mean, they're, obviously, they're all banged up. But that is pretty decent shape didn't soup them so anyway the rest of this stuff in here just a bunch of odds and ends this whole bucket was actually just thrown in there and i just went in and grabbed it and took it exactly the way you see it here's a nice little bluetooth speaker we got some beer pong balls which are freaking awesome here's a little wet and wild color icon like some kind of some kind of makeup there what is this this is a oh is it a running belt that you guess you put around your waist a random glove <laughs> we got uh this is a uh, perfume and a couple of lotions as well so nothing too crazy in there strobe cream oh never mind this is freaking mac i forgot we found this too guys my days are starting to run in together um we do so much dumpster diving i completely forgot we found this as well inside of the dumpster i didn't i don't remember if i filmed or not 100 percent sure if i filmed in the dumpster if i did i'll add a clip to this but um obviously these are from alta i'm pretty sure i filmed this this is from a different alta as well but I'm not really sure if I grabbed a clip of this or not. Just because every Alta shopping center that, in my area at least, always has a lot of security. That is pretty much it for that. Finally, guys, we're getting to the last box here. Lots and lots of really cool stuff inside of this box. The, um, everything, for the most part, I think for maybe a couple things over here is also from the $5 and under store. For the most part, though, everything is from that store right there. So first things first, we have a pair of Bullet Superior earbuds. They are in there. I'm not going to pull them out, but they're definitely in there. I already checked when I was inside of the dumpster. So these look really, really nice, actually. And we also found like a little mini hair straightener. I don't know if you guys can see the brand name right there. I've never heard of it, but um, I don't know. It's a little mini hair straightener. And I do have a little uh, pair of earbuds kind of tangled in with that. So I'm not going to untangle that. So all this stuff, like I said, for the most part, um, granted with a few other items are going to be from the... Uh, that dumpster right there so here we got a little thing of is this now this is deodorant of all things we find <laughs> i have no idea why they threw deodorant out and then this is it's supposed to be a picture um a little thing you hang up on the wall and it says love on the front of it but all the pieces are missing besides the o so i figured we could probably use it for 
something to, to put stuff in on a table or something like that because it is a nice little like box like a nice little square box it's, it's really sturdy i mean it's not broken it's just missing the letters off of it so anyway we found a couple things of dog treats not really sure if i'm going to give them to my dogs or not i'm going to have to check them out and inspect them a little bit further but they seem like they're probably okay they look like they probably just threw them out because obviously christmas is like way over by now and guys check this out we actually find a exercise ball it's definitely in there as you can see it looks like it's probably just returned so hopefully it doesn't have a hole on it in it i should say but um other than that it seems like it's probably going to be pretty good i don't know we'll have to check that out and then look at this guys check that stuff out you can see the brand right there ray dunn that is super super nice sadly it is there was supposed to be another one of these small little trays right there and it slid out the top of it and broke i don't think it slid out while i was taking out the dumpster it was already sitting there broken but um awesome awesome fine guys this is really really nice i'm not really sure i guess this is good for like a cheese tray or something for entertaining i have no idea but freaking awesome awesome stuff inside that dumpster look at that if you guys don't know who that is he's a really good brand and he's really popular right now actually so that is super awesome find and then we have a couple things of makeup actually from the same dumpster and guys for the most part they're completely destroyed but um nicole said she can fix them which i obviously she can because you guys always tell her how she can fix stuff which is freaking awesome of you guys but we also found that piece of makeup there it is as you can see all smashed up and the same thing goes for this these aren't crazy like good brands guys i'm pretty sure you could buy this stuff at the five dollar and under store but believe it or not it this stuff is actually from that dumpster which i did not even know they sold there so anyway here's another one of these boxes the same deal was wrong with this one missing the letters and then we also found this like I guess this is like a really, really big paperweight. I'm not really sure, but it has a nice little quote on it. It does have a little chip right there, but it's really, really nice, really solid piece of glass. And it says a dream is where it all begins. So I was going to leave that behind. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but um, that is really, really nice. And it's seriously like freaking five pounds. And then we found a little dog toy and a nice little candle there. And this is a pair of sunglasses. I don't really, I couldn't find anything wrong with them. The lot, there was a bunch of these sunglasses in there, to be honest with you. And a lot of them were completely demolished, but I could not figure out anything wrong with these. So these are actually pretty nice. And then we also have this picture frame and another thing right here, guys. Small little chip right there. Other than that, it's like seriously perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. And you guys can see the brand name. And then finally, guys, we have a couple things from the $5 under store inside of this box as well. Little, I guess this is like a little gun. Laser sound, LED spinning lights. Looks pretty cool. Really awesome for a little kid. And I found another one of these shark tanks. Um, the game, I don't know. I didn't mess with the last one yet, so I'm not really sure exactly how to explain this one. But it's like some kind of, maybe it's a board game or whatever. But I found another one. We just found one that was the other night. So anyway, guys. That is pretty much it. Found some freaking awesome stuff. Super stoked about the uh, Ralph Lauren polo jacket. So that is pretty much everything that we found. So like I said, I'm going to do the uh, announcement of the 20,000 subscriber giveaway. So let's go ahead and jump on the computer. And I'm going to pick somebody right now. Here at the computer, getting ready to choose the winner. So I've never used this before, guys. So if you see the video cut off, I'm not trying to do something phony, like randomly pick somebody and like pick somebody myself. I cannot do it myself. This thing draws it 100% by itself. But if you see the video cut out, I don't want to give anybody's personal information out. So if it just shows their email address, I'm not really sure how this is going to work. So if it just shows their email address, I'm not going to cut the video. But I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, draw winners, I guess. And draw. All right. So that is the winner right there, Amanda Dean. And that's your email right there. So if that is you, please make sure you go ahead and contact me on Facebook. She is entry number 149. So congratulations to you. Hopefully that, I mean, that's not too much information. There is, if that's your email address and that's your name, make sure you go ahead and contact me through my Facebook page. Guys, that is all I have for you all tonight. Thank you all for watching. Tune in. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. And guys, I'll be back tomorrow with a new episode.